uh, life-threatening situation now. Uh, a confirmed and extremely dangerous tornado on the ground. On December 9th, tornadoes tore through Middle Tennessee, causing the deadliest December outbreak in the region's history. Nearly two years to the day from the last tornado in Davidson County, yet another EF2 ripped through the Nashville area. The explosion happened and that, that really shocked me. Um, I did not expect to see that. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in person. A power station dramatically exploded in Madison. People turned around on Interstate 65 to escape the path of the tornado. But imagine being inside this building and the wall collapses. There were two main long-lived, long-track supercells that day. This one that moved through the National Metro and a powerful EF3 tornado that tracked for 42 miles all the way from Clarksville, Tennessee to Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's definitely my heart's like pounding. <laughs> Peak winds of 150 miles per hour destroyed more than 1,000 homes and injured 62 people in the Clarksville area. Across the state, six people died in the outbreak. The tornadoes were part of a larger storm system that stretched from the Great Lakes to the Gulf Coast. Huge hail. That was a baseball, man. Large hail, winds, and a tornado touchdown in northern Mississippi. Two EF-1 tornadoes hit the suburbs of Birmingham, Alabama, late Saturday night. The following day, the storm system produced multiple tornadoes in North Carolina, including an EF-1 tornado just south of Raleigh. As it was two weeks before Christmas, it's a stark reminder that severe season never sleeps in the south. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Connell.